tell about the meat spoilage. Meat spoilage is caused by the contamination of the meat. The contamination of the meat is come from the microorganism. The micro the microorganism will take place after the animal that been slaughtered. The microorganism can come from the external source and also come from the animal itself after have been slaughtered. Today our group will explain more about the meat spoilage. In this video, we will explain about the type of the meat spoilage, the factor of the meat spoilage and also how to prevent the meat spoilage. There are two types of the meat spoilage which are aerobic condition that caused by the bacteria and also fungi. The second one is the anaerobic condition which is the cosis anaerobic bacteria that spoil the meat. Under aerobic condition, there are two types of two, two spoilers that, that can cause the contamination of the meat which are from bacteria spoilers and also fungi spoilers. Bacteria spoilage of the meat is because the surface spoilage. This is because the temperature and also the moisture on the meat that can cause the microorganism grow and cause the meat slime. Change in change in color of the meat is caused by oxidation of the microorganism on the meat. The color of the meat turns from the red to the dark brown or turn to the green. Change in fat is it, because fat becomes the resin because the lipids producing the microorganisms such as pseudomonas. The surface color on the meat is caused by the pigmented bacteria. Every color Every color on the meat is presented by the bacteria and certain bacteria have the blue color, red spot or yellow spot. Phosphorescence is caused by the color of the luminous bacteria. For the example, photobacterium, photobacterium that growing on the surface of the meat of order and of this it is because the meat has the undesirable taste and also order that caused by the many bacteria on the meat which is they produce the water acid such as formic acid and also acetic acid for the fungi spoilage of the meat there are seven criteria that we can see which are stickiness. Stickiness is, is because the mold is grow on the surface of the meat that cause the sticky sticky surface for the meat and also the change of the color that is because the present the present of the fungi on the meat. The change of the fat is because the lipids producing microorganism that which is cause the residuity of the meat. This is one of the fungi that can grow on the surface of the meat that can cause the sliminess residuity on the meat. The change of the fat and also the discoloration of the meat which is turned to the pink or brown. Hello, I am Nurul Joy Izzati Wendy Muhammad Zakwan. So, let's move on to the spoilage of meat under aerobic condition. Aerobic means that it requires or in the presence of oxygen. There are two types of the spoilage of the meat, which is the bacteria and also the fungi. For the bacteria spoilage, there are six types, which is the surface spoilage, change in color of meat, change in fat, 
surface color due to pigmented bacteria, phosphorescence, and of odors and of taste. Surface spoilage is usually caused by Pseudomonas, Arsenobacter, Bacillus, and many more. The temperature and available moisture will affect the growth of the bacteria that cause the mucus. You can see in the picture is the example of Pseudomonas and also the Bacillus bacteria. Next is the change in color of meat. The red color of the meat may be changed to the brown or grey. This is due to the production of the oxidizing agent from the bacteria. For the example is the lactobacillus species, which is you can see in the picture of the spoiled meat and the species itself. The next one is the change in fat, which makes the meat become rancid and spoiled. This is due to the lipase producing microorganisms. The Seratia marcescens species give the red spot to the spoiled meat. This coloration is due to the pigmented bacteria. Next is phosphorescence, which is caused by the luminous bacteria. Finally, is of odor and of taste, which is caused by the production of volatile acid such as acetic acid. So, let's move on to the fungal spoilage of meat. There are seven types of fungal spoilage. Firstly, is the stickness where many molds grow on the surface of the meat and cause the mucus. It is usually caused by thumb medium and mucor micellar. Next is black spot on the meat, which is caused by the Cladosporium herbarum. Next, the white spot is caused by the Sporotrichum carnis. The green spot is caused by the Penicillium species. Next is the change in fat. The milk produces lipase and causes the hydrolytic rancidity. Okay, so what is our order and of taste of fungi? Milk gives musty flavor to meat in the vicinity of their growth. Finally, is the fungi that is known as yeast. With the presence of oxygen, yeast will grow on the surface of the meat and cause the slimeness. The meat will be currency and smelly and discoloration will also occur. There are two main factors which are intrinsic factor and extrinsic factor. For the intrinsic factor, meat can easily spoilish because of the pH, moisture, and osmotic For the extrinsic factor, meat can easily spoilish because of the temperature and the packaging itself. But the pH can be decreased uh, when the glycogen is depleted by the fatty inanition or peel before the slaughtering process. This is uh, very important to make sure that the animal in the calm condition before the slaughtering process. For the bacteria growth, uh, usually at about pH 7. But the bacteria weak below a pH 4 and above pH 9. Next factor is moisture and osmotic pressure. The amount of free water is very important for the growth of microorganisms. The moisture content of meat determined by the growth of microorganisms. Mold and yeast can be tolerated high osmotic pressure than bacteria. Usually, the bacteria can grow from a water activity level which is a 1.0 until 0.75. The yield and moles can also grow slowly at a water activity level uh, of 0.62. So the moisture content of meat is very important to to be to be take more attention because if the moisture content is low it will because the it will make 
the appearance of the meat become dry. The next factor is temperature. Temperature is related with the moisture content of meat. Usually, the meat will be stored at the cold temperature, which is negative 1.5 degrees Celsius. The minimum growth of temperature uh, for the psychotropic bacteria is uh, 3 degrees Celsius. It can be concluded that the lower refrigeration temperature, the lower microbial growth, and the higher temperature, it will cause the greater growth of microbial spoilage. So it is important uh, for us to store the meat in the refrigeration. Uh, but make sure the meat uh, was placed in the freeze type. Chef life of the meat increase based on, of, based on this order, which is air, high oxygen, vacuum, no oxygen, and 100% carbon dioxide. Usually in the market, uh, use the MAP packaging, which is modified atmosphere packaging. Based on the all factors that I have already made, mentioned earlier, it will affect the the quality of the meat, which is it will affect the off order and off flavor, such as the sweetness, juiciness, and the freshness of the meat will be decreased. The growth of the microorganisms, such as Pseudomonas. Uh, we produce the ethyl ester coinciding with the early stage of the spoilage. And the spoilage also will cause the discoloration of the meat, which is, uh, as we, uh, we all know, the fresh meat is the red color, and when the spoilage happens, it will change to the brown color, or it called the browning reaction. This is because of the bacterial production of hydrogen sulfide. The meat spoilage also uh, will cause the gas production. For example, the Clostridium uh, species, which is it has been associated with the production of large amount of gas, such as uh, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. There are few methods to preserve meat from microbial spoilage. First is aseptic. Second is use of heat. Next is use of low temperature. Addition of preservative. Use of radiation. And the last one is use of antibiotics. First is aseptic. We prevent external microorganisms from entering the meat. For example, water spraying before slaughter. We want to remove the dead and microorganisms from the hair. Next, we can sanitize the knife using soap and warm water or we can wipe using alcohol. Then, we must wear gloves. Next is use of heat. For example, canning. Canning is a process which the food is preserved by being sealed in an airtight container. Food such as meat is low acid food. The pH is around 4.6. It can provide a good environment for the growth of C. botulinum. By canning, we can reduce the growth of microorganisms through thermal treatment. And we can use pressure canner. Use of low temperature. There are two methods which are chilling and freezing. The temperature for chilling is around 2 to 3 degrees Celsius, but the product only lasts for few days. While freezing, the temperature is negative 18 degrees Celsius and it is able to reduce and or inhibit most of the bacteria. Okay. Then we go to adding preservative, curing by addition of salt. The aim is to draw moisture out of the food by osmosis. So the solute concentration in the food will increase and the water potential will decrease. Therefore, the food becomes inhospitable from the microbe growth that can cause food spoilage. So we go to smoking. The purpose is to add desired flavors and to preserve food. While drying, we lower the moisture content of the food. Both of these methods can extend the shelf life of the meat.
Then use of radiation. Irradiation with UV rays has been in conjunction with chilling storage to extend the keeping time. The function is to reduce number of organisms in the air and to inhibit microorganisms on the surface of the meat. For example, is gamma ray. The last one is antibiotic. Antibiotic can extend the storage life of the meat. Antibiotic can be applied to the meat in various methods such as we feed the animals or we inject the animal using antibiotic. The example is chlorotetracycline and chloro chloramphenicol.